we lost the house. End of story. We lost the house. Yeah. Hey guys, we are the Pronoia family. How's it going? <laughs> Ooh. Our name is the Pronoia family. Um, we did talk a little bit about it in another week, uh, but this week I think we get to talk about how the belief of Pronoia and that the universe is conspiring in our favor helps us in a times like this where we really kind of need it most. We need to keep moving forward knowing that... That things are still gonna work out for us. Right. We'll take you back. We found a house that we loved. We also went under contract on our house and that house the same day. And about a week or so, maybe a week and a half later, the people that we were under contract with had to back out because they had too many dogs for our HOA. Totally fine. You know, it's, it is what it is. Um, so we let the people know they were okay with it um, on the other side, the house we were buying. And we went um, and showed our house like crazy, got another offer, then they ended up backing out because it was over their budget and then kept showing our house like crazy finally got in a few offers and we were well and, and our days are back here and just acknowledge and, and focus on i don't know how many of you guys have ever tried moving and showing a house with young toddlers <laughs> uh, but it's practically impossible to keep your house clean with uh young children our boys are tornadoes yeah they were so hard every time we would clean something they would run to another room mess it up throw stuff everywhere they they did not want to leave we spent so much time in the car <laughs> <laughs> yeah i guess to throw add in all that in the middle of a pandemic right in winter we can't go out and do much mm -hmm. we tried going out to eat sometimes and the boys were just so they were sitting there jumping and yelling in the middle of dinner <laughs> and it was it was crazy. Yeah. Um, so we get a few offers on the house. We're so excited. The home that we had offered on and were under contract with to buy. The agent and led our agents to believe that their client, the clients for this other house, if we hit certain criteria, would go with us. There was a gentleman's handshake uh, type thing where they said, if you meet these, this, these conditions, we will uh, accept your addendum to extend the dates. So that morning, we take our lowest offer that we got just because they could close the fastest and within the time frame that um, the, the other people needed to close. So we take that offer, send them proof of all of that so that they feel comfortable um, because that's what they had asked for. And um, they had till 5 p.m. to sign it or our earnest money of 7,500 was gonna go hard. Meaning we could lose $7,500 and not even get this house if we didn't pull out of the contract before the five o'clock deadline. Yeah. So. All day long, we're waiting for them to sign. Just waiting, 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 waiting. And then 4.55 comes around. I say, can we give a call for one last measure? Our agent says, yeah, that's totally fine. Calls them, and, or calls their agent. And at 4.59, we get a text saying, no go, they decided they weren't comfortable working with us anymore. Um, and it was a sucker punch. It, it, it hurt. It sucked. I, at 4.58, I felt like this was going to happen. This was when it all sunk in for me. I had to walk out of the ha or uh, out of the living room with all the kids. I went into my bathroom, laid on the floor, and just cried. Because this has been so stressful for us. And, you know, the one thing that we thought was going to work out just didn't. And... Yeah, it's been... And we put everything into to this home even to the point of saying like you know if this doesn't work out with this home yeah you know we're this is this is just yeah, too just... much that you know we can't handle this constantly leaving our house constantly trying to keep the house clean mm -hmm. trying to keep the kids happy you know we've got 
so many toys packed away, so many things that the kids want to play with um, that they're asking for, and, and they're all confused. They feel the emotional roller coaster. Yeah. You know, they haven't been sleeping well. We haven't been sleeping well. Uh, it's been an absolutely insane roller coaster. Yeah. You know, obviously, we had to get our emotions out. It hurt. We were sad. We were angry. You know, we joked about TPing their house, of course. <laughs> obviously, totally jokes, you know, to help us just release. Just feel better. Yeah. Have some fun. And, you know, because, again, it felt like, you know, it almost seemed like they were trying to take advantage and... Take our uh, money and run. Yeah, to a certain degree. Because they really, we're not really sure why they needed to wait till the last minute to let us know. Um, yeah, luckily, they, our agents were extremely smart on top of it. They made sure we had the the uh, cancellation form already signed out, ready to go. So we were able to submit it before right before five. the deadline. Mm -hmm. And um, so everything was good, you know, but it, it was weird. We just weren't expecting that. We weren't um, expecting the rug to be pulled out from underneath us. Yeah. You know, I couldn't help but just cry for a brief moment I was thinking what did we do to deserve all of this why is this so hard why is why is this happening well and again so this is where again it ties back into paranoia mm -hmm. you know the belief that the universe is conspiring in our favor you know when you really take a step back you know and, and maybe this is something we just tell ourselves to make ourselves feel better but at the end of the day it works and mm -hmm. so, and that's what matters. And this could all work in our favor. You know, that home was not meant to be. We may either end up staying here and it being way better, or we may just find another house that, that is, is fits our fits needs, our needs more. even more. And if we can't find anything that just feels right, then, then maybe we're right where we needed to be. Mm -hmm. And that's important to know and that, you know, that's good good place to be uh, so anyways just wanted to update you guys a little little different kind of video you know if you guys any of you viewers are, are struggling to you know feeling like the world or the universe is just beating you down and things aren't going your way uh, you know we found it's really helpful to have somebody to talk to um, if you guys want to reach out to us and just have someone who can listen and, and you know, if you want, maybe try to see and help share a different perspective on how the universe might be conspiring in your favor, reach out. We'd love to talk. Yeah, for sure. So that's this week's video. Sorry it's, uh, you know, maybe not as crazy with all the kids or, and we don't have a couch in here to sit on anymore. Yeah. <laughs> um, but... We really appreciate you guys. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching our video, and we'll see you next Thursday. See you next time.